welcome to the Great Amazing Book Show. Hey kids, welcome to the Great Amazing Book Show. I hope you enjoy this book today. We're going to read David Goes to School by David Shannon. Do you think that's what you're allowed to do in school? Make paper airplanes out of your homework and throw them? At the front of the class? He's got a big mouth. That is a teacher, and she doesn't look happy because her arms are folded, and I think she's tapping that toe. David Goes to School by David Shannon. This is a story about scholastic experiences. Scholastic is a word for school. Get it? School. Scholastic. Scholastic. That's really a real word. Can you believe they did that? Author's note. A few years ago, my mother sent me a book I made when I was a little boy. The text consisted in... I have read this before. David's teacher always said, No, David! I... And then it says, No, no, David. I I can feel it. I think somebody actually checked this book out and colored right here. I think that's real crayon. That is not printed with the book. Yeah. No yelling! No pushing! No running! In the halls! When I went to school, I had to write on paper like this, too. It had a dotted line in the middle, and that was for uppercase. Had to go all the way to the top, and lowercase had to go just to the middle line. And that's how they were trying to teach us to, to spell with big letters and little letters. But do you know what? There's people, I've met people who only write in the big letters. Like this person who took a crayon to this book. No, mm, I, th- there's no M in no. <laughs> they started over. No, David! Good practice, though. I mean, you're learning good. And you did stay between the top, the middle of the line and the top line. So I guess they did use the lines. Good job. David! You're tardy! Hee 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 Do you know what tardy means? Tardy is you're late. And I don't know where that word comes from. But yeah, you're tardy means you stayed in bed too long and your mom had to drive you to school and you have a note, I hope. What do you think's plugged in right there? It could be a fish tank. It could be a... Well, I guess you don't plug in guinea pigs. (laughs) Anyway. uh, Next page. Notoriously thick pages in these books. Sit down, David! (laughs) He is misbehaving. Don't chew gum in class! This is basically why you're not supposed to chew gum in school. Is because then the gum gets stretched and pulled, and then it snaps and falls into the book. Luckily, even though people have colored on other pages, no one has put gum on this page. David, raise your hand! He's standing on the edge of the chair there. (laughs) He's standing up and just answering questions. And meanwhile, his neighbor here, whatever her name is, she's got her hand up in the air just ready to answer. And he just blurts it out. That's not what you're supposed to do. Do you know what? I remember raising your hand in school. If you ever... Here, I'll show you. You raise your hand for a while and you get a little tired. And so they'd switch to the other arm. But then, I mean, that arm gets tired, so, like, after, if you can't get the teacher to call on you, kids would reach over, you take this hand, reach across, grab the elbow, then rest that on top of your head, and then you kind of lay over like this, and you just leave your hand up there. Hopefully the teacher calls on me someday. Keep your hands to yourself! Oh, boy. Finger painting, and he's going to grab her ear. That kid's going to get a red ear and be known as Susie Red Ear or something. What is he painting? What is that? Is that a green rainbow? And like a... There's a chicken in there, I think. I think he made one of those hand chickens where you, you, you put... 
put a handprint and then you give it a beak. But the finding of the book has hidden his painting from us. What? <laughs> Somebody fixed it. He's looking out the window. This is supposed to be the back of his head. But the kid with the crayon has struck again and given us a jack-o'-lantern face on the back of his head. Pay attention! Look, there's a potato experiment where they're growing a potato in a glass of water and it starts to make roots. And there's a model rocket that you can shoot way up in the air. Five, four, three, two, one. And there's a globe. It's a whole planet and you can spin it and look at all the I have one, hold on. Ah oh, yes, a globe. Here is the United States of America, Mexico, South America, Africa, India, where there's cool sounded names of places like Bangalore, and then there's Thailand, the Philippines, and Mongolia, and Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan, and Iran, and Afghanistan, and Turkey. There's a country called Turkey. And up here in the north part, you've got Finland and Sweden. Finnish is one of the neatest sound and languages you've ever heard, and it's really hard to speak. Not Swedish. Swedish is easy, I guess. Sinua tällä harjalla lyön perkeeti viekö jos tuu tänne. Uh, and then there's Greenland. Iceland is very green. And Greenland is all ice. And there's Antarctica on the South Pole. And there's the North Pole, where Santa Claus and his reindeer live. Australia! Great white sharks in the ocean. If you go swimming there, you'll probably get bit. And then there's New Zealand, and they don't have any bugs. <laughs> And in the middle out here is Polynesia, Samoa, and Tonga. And they have big, big volcanoes in the ocean. Right here, Hawaii is a state. And then there's another state in the United States way up here called Alaska. Well, anyway, that's a tour of a globe. Most of your classrooms should have a globe. If you look around at school, you might find one. But he's looking outside, and what does he see? Well, right here is the handle of a small shovel, and uh, over here is uh, a nose and a, a smiley face, somebody laughing. And uh, this, I guess, could be a uh, an egg beater or I don't, a hand. You guys are screaming at me, huh? Of course, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Stands on two legs, one, two, and he's got two arms, one, two, and you can't see his fingers because he's a cloud, but he has one, two fingers, like that, on both arms, two fingers, and a big mouth, full of teeth, and he eats other dinosaurs. Wait your turn, David! He's skipping the line. Oh boy. You gotta learn how to stand in lines when you go to school. This is, uh, this is the lunchroom. See, at school, did you know they have lunch ladies? She's got hairy arms, like me. And they say, what would you like to eat? And they give you a scoop of everything. And then you take your lunch with your little box of milk. These boxes of milk are really cool. You can only find them at school. I don't know where they sell them, but you can't buy them at a store. You have to pop open the corner and you drink out, out of that. Like at home, you can't drink out of the carton. But at school, you get your own little carton and you drink right out of it. So special. He's being rude. This kid, and this kid, and this kid, and this kid, all those kids have to wait because he's gonna skip the line. He's gonna have to learn how to stand in lines. I don't care who started it! <laughs> Food fight! This is, a, uh, this is a messy way to live. If you decide that your food belongs on your enemies and they believe the same, then both of you shall have nothing to eat, 
and you will be wearing a lot of squishy clothes. <laughs> He's got spaghetti hanging off his face. It's like a partial beard. And somebody threw a banana, but it didn't get squashed. Watch out for slipping on the banana peel. The milk is on the floor! Ah. Oh, man. There's just stuff everywhere. How did that sandwich not come apart? Usually, it must be really glued together. Whatever's in that sandwich is sticky. <clears throat> David, recess is over! Recess is when you go outside and you play on the play field and on the jungle gyms, and this is a four square square thing. There's a little line that goes through the middle. But because of the binding of the book, once again, we've lost. Yeah, I've got marks on my fingers from that crayon. That kid's crayon is everywhere in this book. He's playing wall ball by himself. You're supposed to go in when the bell rings. You're supposed to go sit at your desk. Boy, if you're homeschooled, you get you get away with all of this. You don't have to deal with it. This is the library, and she's trying to read, and he's trying to read, and he has his pencils out to drum on a book cover. She does not appreciate his musical talents. He's supposed to do that in music, not in the library. That is a loud kid. Again? Can you tell what he needs to go do? This is the thing about being in school in a classroom. You have to raise your hand and ask if you can go to the bathroom. You gotta kinda time that. When they have recess, you gotta run to the bathroom during recess so that you don't have to do it during the class because it's embarrassing to raise your hand in front of everybody. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Everybody has to go. Why is it embarrassing? Maybe it was only embarrassing to me. That's it, mister! You're staying after school! Oh, man! He's drawn a really wonderful picture on his desk, but that is not where you draw. Never draw on walls or desks. Draw on paper only. Or cardboard, if they give you some cardboard to paint on. But <gasps> Hey, look! It's Fergus, his dog! And those are the aliens. They've got a laser rifle on their spaceship. And there's a pig. Oh wait, there's a pig with pigtails. I think I recognize those pigtails. Could that be? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> he drew his uh, desk partner as a pig. That poor girl. She is now a pig drawn on the desk. You're not, he's drawn himself right there with a green crayon. I wonder who that kid is. There's a little kid over there jumping. Maybe that's the mailman. Because Fergus eats the mailman every time. David, have you finished? Oh, there's a fly. What is a fly doing in here? I opened the window and now there's flies in my house. Pfft, what makes him think it's so great in here? He's shining the desks. He's got a bucket of cleaner and he is shining and they go bling, 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 bling. Shine those desks, David. You're the janitor now. A janitor is someone who cleans the school. Good job, David. He gets a gold star. Or it's a sheriff's badge. Maybe he's going to be the law in this classroom. Is there some kind of badge that goes with this job? Oh, you bet there is. I'm afraid it's a little bent up. Well, that must have saved the life of whoever was wearing it. Well, it sure would have if it hadn't been for all them other bullets flying in from everywhere. Probably not. He's probably getting a gold star sticker that means he's a good boy and he did a good job, even though he kind of misbehaves. Yes, David, you can go home now. Hey, it's the little piggy girl and its other friend. And it's fall. See all the trees, their leaves are turning orange. In September is when you usually start school and David is running home. I used to walk to school. Oh, look, an extra illustration done by the famous anonymous artist. Anonymous means we don't know their name. See, they first drew a family. They were shorter. Or maybe this is a bib. You know those bibs little kids have to wear that catch the food? Maybe it's one of those bibs. I don't know. There's an X over their face. 
So I guess the artist was not that happy with this face, even though it looks identical to this face and this face. <laughs> Sorry, kid. You did a good job. I don't know who you are, but uh, thanks for extra illustrating this book. It really helped. David Shannon grew up in Spokane, Washington. Oh, no way! He's from Washington, too! Spokane's on the other side of the state, but uh, he now lives in L.A. with his wife, Heidi, their daughter, Emma, and their dog, Fergus. Fergus is real! <laughs> the back of the book says, Put class. I will not, will not disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. I will not dis... Durst, dursupt, class, <laughs> disrupt, disrupt class. I will not disrupt class. We do hope you've enjoyed this great, amazing book show. And if you'd like to listen to further titles, please check out our other videos or subscribe and continue to enjoy more of these fascinating stories. Uh -huh.